Hi guys, it's Abby here. Welcome to the Fur-Legged Friends. So today's video is going to be about what you need to know about shaving down double-coated dogs and the risk factors. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I make grooming-related videos to help pet parents have the best grooming experience they can, whether it's in the salon or at home. Also, don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that I post on a weekly basis. With that said, let's get into the video. So it's not typically advisable to shave down double-coated dogs, and most people's reasonings are usually too faint. It'll help cool their dog um, in the summer, and secondly, it's to help prevent or get rid of the shedding. So for the first reason, you're actually doing the opposite. When you shave down a double-coated dog's fur, you're actually getting rid of its first line of defense to regulate its body temperature because they are not meant to be shaved down. They are just meant to have a good brushing. What makes them um, hot is when they do have those um, undercoats impacted um, under their fur and not sufficient airflow is going through and that kind of is what messes up with um, their body temperature. So if you just brush them, they will actually just cool off faster. And if you shave them, they're actually just gonna be even more hot without the fur. Hope that makes sense. Secondly, um, most people think that it gets rid of the shedding. I understand if your dog's hair is like super long and there's just clumps of fur everywhere, um, by shaving it off, you won't get that much um, hair throughout your house on your clothes, etc. When you shave down a double-coated dog, there are some aesthetic risk factors that can happen. Um, your dog's hair could not um, grow back at all, or it can grow back in patches, it can grow back thicker, it could just grow back in a way that is just not aesthetically pleasing. Now with this said, this doesn't happen to every double-coated dog. I have seen some dogs that have been shaved down and they are perfectly fine and some that are in the other spectrum where it's just like we completely have a destroyed coat. And um, that's just kind of the risk factors that you have to kind of be aware of and be willing to be okay with. If, you know, I understand if like you really want to just get rid of the shedding, um, it doesn't necessarily get rid of it, but it does get rid of the amount of hair, but it's gonna be little like hair splinters. Um, keep in mind that if you do really want to shave down your double-coated dog, that is a risk that you are going to take. Um, most dogs that I've seen that are okay when they get shaved down are typically like golden retrievers, Australian Shepherds or mixed um, breeds with double coats, they're typically okay. I'm not saying that every single one of these breeds are like the ones that should get shaved down. Um, just do it at your own risk and just know all of the um, factors that comes with it. Before shaving down your double coated dog and you've never done it before, ask your groomer to do a shedless package or a shed relief package where we do the um, upgraded shampoo and conditioner and you blow out the coat and we do some heavy brushing to get all of that undercoat out and just to make sure um, all the hair is brushed out in the salon rather than at your home. So try that out first. Um, try to stick with it for a, like a little bit to kind of just get your dog's um, hair to get used to the process and hopefully that works and that um, kind of deters you away from shaving down your dog. I'm not saying um, to not ever shave your dog. There are some dogs that do need it um, if they have some skin conditions or if it's like a vet recommendation, then absolutely, you know, go for it. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys found that helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of little stories and posts on there. And also if you have any questions, you can also ask me there or down in the comments below. And that is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.